And let's imagine a picture of 2035. How do you paint it with AI and biotech? How it is going to affect our day-to-day -day life? So what I see is like my mom is waking up, checking her mobile. So that app is analyzing her sleep. Did she sleep well? Analyzing her sugar levels and many more things. Could be my younger brother or niece. Going to the school to take a personalized vaccine. Personalization is now there. If you look at billionaires and millionaires, they took medicine, they took food based on their personalized body genetics and lifestyle, and that is costly. Hmm. But based on now, lot of models coming into market, lot of technologies coming into market. In next 25 years, I think it is will be very affordable, and it will be in everyone's mobile phones. We'll be eating what is based on our body conditions. We can identify diseases even before it is coming out. We'll be having robots to assist our body condition day to day life. Okay, so you mentioned about the AI in biology, but how fast it is growing? What if we can tell you there is a computer built on a living cell, which is living. Normally, for a computer to run, what we need RAM, CPU, all this is all. We need a chip. So imagine I replace it with a Living human brain cells. We all know that artificial neural networks are mimicked based on human neurons how it works, right? Mm. So instead of using those artificial neural networks, I used a living human brain neuron, which is similar and much more faster. If we, if someone is having some genetical problem, can we reverse that? Like, can I say that that person can grow their hair again? To do the personal statement, I have to understand his genetics, right? Hmm. There we can give a medicine which will induce his body to produce that protein. So, uh, tell us more about your company. How did you get the idea to work on it? What inspired you, and what it does exactly? So basically, my company name is Biogrida, Biology plus Algorithm. So the name itself suggests that it's a company building and giving solutions for AI solutions for licensed research pharmaceutical companies, laboratories. And how much data set you have used so far to build your system? Building foundation models is very hard in biology, mm. and we'll be having like lot of maybe like G lot of GPUs, mm. we hundreds and thousands of GPUs like H1, for example, in hundreds of thousands of H100 GPUs we need to build in massive models. Mm. So right now we're using. 